Hello friends, it's Willie. Welcome to my channel, Disney Your Day. Welcome back if you visited with me before. It's Mystery Monday. And this will be the second week that I'm actually working on this mystery diamond painting that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, and I welcome you to join me. Welcome you to join me. I, I speak English good. <laughs> so anyway, if you're new here, welcome. If you visited with me before, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here either way. And we'll see what we can get into today. I do have my light pad on because these symbols are just really rough for me and my old eyes to read. Apologies for the crinkly noises. Oh, I was going to do a tag. Wow, I drilled. Let me see if I can actually find it. I think this is one that Katie from Diamonds and Washi did recently. If I can find it. Okay, I think I found it. And I apologize if you can hear my stomach. It is making, it's been making like all of these really horrible noises. <laughs> um, so this is an all about fall tag question. Um, and feel free to answer these questions. You have a YouTube channel. Let me adjust my light so I can actually see my drills. I'm trying to film a little bit closer than I normally do, uh, just so that you get a better idea of what I'm actually doing here. I've already cut the plastic cover, put it back here. I don't remember where I got my cover minder. I'm sorry, I don't keep really good track of those things. Um, so again, I, I've thought about, uh, you know, I get hair everywhere. I shed like a dog. Do any of you have that problem? Um, my youngest niece and I both do that. Uh, and it, it gets a little disgusting around the house in Pennsylvania because um, you'll just see clumps of hair on the, the carpeting. Um, wow, I really got distracted quickly, didn't I? Okay, here's the tag. What's your favorite fall drink? Okay, confession time. I don't need a pumpkin spice latte to make me happy. Um, if you've ever heard Dennis Leary's coffee flavored coffee rant, that's me. <laughs> I like coffee flavored coffee. Oh, yeah, that's an N. Um, I, I'm not really big with the frou frou coffees. I like dark roast with half and half. So if you were expecting me to say, you know, pumpkin spice latte, sorry. I, I guess the only thing that's really different for me is that I do have a tendency to occasionally get like apple cider and not hot cider, not mold cider, just apple cider. <laughs> I do like apple cider in the fall. In fact, I have a little uh, bottle of it uh, in the fridge right now that I bought on Friday when I was loading up comfort food after getting my second booster. So apple cider, I like, and I, and again, I, there we go with the hair again. I don't need him, you know, to have embellishments with my apple cider. I, I just like plain old cold apple cider. I like my apple cider cold. I like my coffee hot. Uh, what's one thing you love about fall? I, I love a lot of things about fall. I love the changing of the leaves. 
I love the crispness in the air. Um, it's just, just the feeling that, you know, you, you can maybe actually snuggle up with a blanket while you're watching television without breaking a sweat. <laughs> I live in the mid Atlantic. I live outside Washington, DC in the Maryland suburbs and it gets the, the summers here are hot and humid. Okay. Not Florida hot and humid, but bad enough. So just, and, and I'm, I'm, cold. I'm, I like cold. I'm, I'm hot blooded by nature, I guess. So I like being able to snuggle up. I have my Eeyore zip hoodie on today and I couldn't be happier about it. <laughs> so those are the things I love about fall. Are you a pumpkin spice fan? Sort of. I love pumpkin pie. Love it, love it, love it. Have some here. That was another comfort food that I bought. I haven't actually cut into it yet. Um, I bought some pumpkin donut holes the other week at the grocery store. You know, the problem with mystery paintings, and again, this is my first one, I, I kind of rely on the colored background to help me find out where these drills go. And you don't get that with mystery paintings, derp. So yeah, yeah. So I do like pumpkin spice things. I'm I'm more cinnamon, a cinnamon fan than like a nutmeg fan. But I I things that make me think of pumpkin pie, I like a lot. So yeah, I guess I am. What's your favorite fall scented candle? I do like pumpkin spice scents. I have a honey. Is it honey? Pumpkin honey? Something like that candle on the table here that I've burned a couple of evenings while I'm diamond painting. And I like that a lot. I like cinnamony smells as well. So that's usually part of pumpkin spice. So yeah. Um... I'm also a big fan of uh, Yankee Candles Macintosh or apple scented candles. So those would be my two favorites. Where do you buy your fall candles? Wherever. <laughs> and I mean wherever. Um, the one I have on my table right now, I think I bought it Big Lots. I have another pumpkin spicy scented candle that I bought at Home Sense, S-E-N-S-E, -S -S -E, I think. It, it's a new to me store. And I, I refused to go in there for a while because it was where uh, our local AC Moore was. And I really miss AC Moore. Oh my goodness, I miss AC Moore. Uh, but yeah, um, I haven't been into a Yankee Candle in a while, but I, I have purchased any number of candles there over the years. I have bought a number of, um, Disney themed candles or Disney parks themed candles from an online company whose name is escaping me at the moment. I'll try to look it up and maybe link it in the, the comments section. Um, so yeah, I, I buy candles in lots of different places. I even buy candles at the Dollar Tree. Shh, don't tell anybody. Let's see. What's your go-to fall beauty product? I'm I'm trying not to laugh my bottom off because I I don't wear makeup. I I moisturizer I guess would be the the best answer. Uh and I I tend to use more of it as fall approaches because as soon as the heat turns on, my skin starts to dry out. So yeah, lotions, moisturizer, that sort of thing. 
Okay, we're going to move to the O, which is packet 11. What is your favorite fall accessory? Oh. I, I tend to wear scarves a little more often once fall hits. Um, just, you know, just a, a fashion type scarf uh, with, with outfits just because I feel like I'm not going to sweat. <laughs> you know, if I put a scarf on in the summer, chances are good it'll make me sweat and I don't like to sweat. I, you can tell I don't do my nails or anything as a general rule. I'm, I don't wear makeup. For the most part, in a lot of ways, I'm not very, what you would consider particularly girly, but I really don't like to sweat. I don't like to sweat. I don't like to get my hands dirty. And if I do get my hands dirty, I need to be able to go wash them immediately. <laughs> so maybe I'm not girly, but I'm prissy. How's that? Does that, does that make sense? Okay, next question. What does your typical fall outfit look like? The same that same look that I have the rest of the year. Uh, I, I, again, I, I'm hot blooded, so I tend to wear short sleeves year round. Actually being able to wear the hoodie and doors is unusual for me. Uh, fortunately, my landlord seems to not turn the heat on when he and his wife are not at home. So <laughs> it's, I'm actually really comfortable in, in my, my, uh, basement apartment right now. Um, I like wearing hoodies but I normally can't. I, I stopped buying sweaters many years ago because chances were good I'd never be able to wear them because, you know, if, if I had my druthers, my home would be like 68 degrees year round, which, you know, especially in summer is really impractical and most people aren't comfortable with that. Once it starts to get chillier outside, I am. I'm, you know, freakishly hot-blooded. So there you go. So my outfit doesn't change much. I will break out three-quarter sleeves <laughs> when fall hits. Um, apple pie or pumpkin pie? Yes. Why not both? Why not both? Although... At this time of year, I do tend more towards pumpkin pie. I do. I will admit that. What's your favorite Halloween slash spooky movie? Um, I love... Uh, 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I just talked about it in my last video, I think. I, well, I talked about part two. What am I thinking of? Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Uh, Wilma Grace. Oh lordy, I just middle named myself. <laughs> this is terrible. Hocus Pocus. Derp. <laughs> Hocus Pocus is a favorite. It, it's not a Halloween movie per se, uh, but Practical Magic with Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman is is a favorite. Um, I love Frankenweenie. I love Paranorman. I don't like horror movies per se don't like them. I don't like a lot of blood and gore. Suspense, I can handle. Certain amount of stuff, I can handle. Like, I, it. I really enjoyed it. But a lot of gore, like the, the Freddy Kruegers and the Jasons and, you know, that stuff. No, 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 no. No. No, thank you. Uh...
Do you have a fall tradition? Mm, not particularly. I do like to do some decorating for Halloween. And, whoop, didn't get them all. This is just a tray that I had on hand on the table. It's really too big for what I'm doing, but it was one that I could grab pretty quickly. So, um, I, I like decorating for Halloween. I had the Halloween decorations up in my office, uh, first week of September. One of my ladies told me it was too soon. I said, Hey, I waited until September. Give me a break. So yeah, that, that's probably it as far as traditions for fall. I don't have kids, so we don't do, you know, like pumpkin patches or, or things like that. Although if somebody suggested going to one, I'd probably go with them. <laughs> but I don't seek those kinds of things out for whatever reason. Now we're on to 18. Favorite fall food. Pumpkin pie? Candy? <laughs> Trick-or-treating was always a fun fall tradition, but that, that's kind of specific to Halloween. Fall food. Hmm. Pumpkin pie. We'll, we'll just say pumpkin pie. I don't associate a lot of food necessarily with fall. Candy and pumpkin pie. There we go. That's my answer. I'm sticking to it. What are your plans for Halloween? I will probably stay home and watch television. Um, if it's a work day, I will work. I, I'm such an introvert that even if I got invited to a Halloween party, I'm not sure that I would go just because, you know, socializing like that tends to make me itch. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably stay home and eat some of the candy that I laid in. I, I've had a, a couple of bags of candy here for a couple of weeks and didn't touch it until today because, you know, it's for Halloween. It's for October. I, I can show some willpower. Do you plan on dressing up for Halloween? No. Although if, if it's a work day, and I, this, I'm so bad I'm not even sure what day of the week Halloween is. If it's a work day, I'll wear something fun to work. It, it'll be something uh, probably work appropriate though. I, I have a black t-shirt that has uh, a jack-o'-lantern on it that's made out of, I think, sequins or something, rhinestones, I don't know. I'll wear that, and I have a pair of Halloween Mickey Mouse ears that I bought at Disney World one year. I think I was there for a Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween party. And uh, I'll wear those. And I have candy corn earrings that I always break out for the Halloween season. So I will do that. What is one thing you're thankful for? I can only do one. <laughs> I am thankful for my family, of course. I am thankful for my friends. I've probably mentioned this, but um, I, I've had pretty much the same best friends for most of my life, and I am so thankful for them. And I, I plan to see them this coming weekend, so I'm, I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful to have work that I love and a wonderful team to work with. I, I'm thankful for a lot of stuff. I, I, that, that's something I try to do. And I, I, there's a, I use a happy planner 
for my day-to-day -day planner. I still like keeping things on paper and using pens and stickers and all of that. And the Vertical Happy Planner has three different blocks for each day of the week. And I've been using the bottom block this year to list something that I was grateful for that day. So, I'm, you know, I, I tend to be a glass half empty kind of person. In fact, one of my best friends occasionally says, okay, glass, glass half empty girl. Um, that, that's something she nicknamed me, glass half empty girl. And so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do that whole attitude of gratitude thing. So I've, I've been doing that this year. And I like that because even on a bad day, you can usually find something good that happens, something that you are thankful or grateful for. Halloween, Halloween or Thanksgiving? Again, yes, both, both. They're very different. I, I, you know, even though they both tend to have food involved, I, they're very different. For me, Halloween is fun. Um, not that Thanksgiving isn't, but I don't think of Halloween as a family activity or a, a family holiday where Thanksgiving for me is all about family, about gathering with family and spending time with family and breaking bread with family. That That's not Halloween for me. So... Yes, for different. Yes to both for different reasons. Favorite Thanksgiving food: all the carbs. <laughs> Seriously, I could do without turkey. I really could. Well, some of these drills don't want to come back out of here. Um, it's it's all about the carbs. You know, talking with with people at work and everything. Uh, for for my working life. It's, oh, so what does your family do for Thanksgiving? We do turkey and a whole lot of carbs. Mashed potatoes, dressing. Not dressing. We do stuffing. No, we do, yeah, dressing. Stuffing is in the bird. Dressing is outside of the bird. We call it stuffing, though. Uh, rolls, pumpkin pie. So we, we usually don't have a green vegetable. <laughs> So it's, you know, turkey, gravy, carbs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and I, I miss my mother's dressing. My middle niece has done a pretty good job of recreating it. Uh, and, and that and the mashed potatoes. I like, I like the taters. I like the taters a lot. And we actually cheated last year. We got the Bob Evans mashed potatoes uh, that you can get like in your deli section at your local grocery store. They're really good. I said, oh my gosh, I never have to peel potatoes again. Because <laughs> I, I don't cook. So my job is always peeling the potatoes. Yeah. Which, I mean, like, I, I used to do, like, a five-pound bag of russet potatoes. Peeling a five-pound bag of potatoes. Just, I don't know that it's anybody's idea of a good time. But I knew that I would get, you know, mashed potatoes as a result. So I was happy to do it. Uh, yeah. Have you ever participated in Friendsgiving? No, but my friends and I keep saying we're going to do it one of these years. We, we keep saying that one of these years we're going to get together on Black Friday and bring a bunch of leftovers or, or whatever and get together and do a Friendsgiving and we haven't actually done it. So, you know, hope springs eternal. Who knows? Hopefully we have a few good years left in us. I, some of my friends do the whole shopping 
insanity on Black Friday. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to set my alarm. I'm going to stay in bed and, and let you all go out and, you know, deal with that. Uh, so I, I think that's kind of stood in our way of actually doing a Friendsgiving. But, you know, again, we, we, we say that someday we're going to do it. So we'll see. Stranger things have happened. Have you already taken fall photos? No, because, you know, again, I don't, I don't have kids. I, so, you know, we don't do the whole family photos thing. I have no reason to do that. Is that a V or a Y? Oh my gosh. Am I placing? Lord have mercy. That's definitely a Y. What are you? Nope, you're V. Where are my stabby tweezers? I'm sorry. I used to have a pair of round nose tweezers. And I do not know. Oh my gosh, these are all V's. Lord have mercy. Yeesh. Okay. Always remember to put the plastic cap back on your super stabby pointy tweezers because you don't want to end up shake, shanking yourself or someone you love or even somebody you don't love because that, that would land you some jail time. Okay. So just, just don't do it. Did I get these Y's out for nothing? Yeesh. Anyway. Uh, so actually that was the last question in the tag. And I did find some Y's and these are actually Y's. I don't know if you can see, but it has the little tail there. Uh, so I will probably finish this off camera because as you can tell, I am a very slow diamond painter. Uh, there are spots on here where I could use a multi-placer. Me and multi-placers, uh, we have a questionable relationship. I started a project yesterday for Diamond Grandma's Fall Y'all event. And I, I think it would qualify for ch uh, Drills and Chills as well. It, it's something from one of the budget-friendly companies, but uh, it, it has swaths of white and I, I spent some time with the four placer and I liked how quickly it was going but I, I just had to stop using it at some point and I went back to doing my checkerboard for color blocking and yeah me, me and the multi placers I'll, I'll get the hang of them eventually and I felt more comfortable with the four placer yesterday that I normally do. We'll see if I pull it out this evening when I'm working on that same project. We'll see. I'm not making any promises. I know the project would go much more quickly if I learned to love my multi-placer. But there you go. I'm, I don't go for speed. You, you can tell. I don't go for speed on these. How long have we been talking? Okay, we're almost at the half hour mark. So let me close here. I am going to try to post one video a day during the month of October, just because I do love fall. And I've, I've got stuff backed up on my, my camera that I have not posted yet. I mean, I have things that I filmed maybe back in April or May <laughs> that did not get posted. And I, I got two packages in the mail today that I'm really excited about. And they're sort of diamond painting adjacent. So I do plan to film an unbagging of those once I finish this and start uploading it. 
so that'll that'll be something for tomorrow but i i am trying to to do something i heard somebody refer to blogtober I, I don't even know if it was a diamond painting channel that i was watching but they they talked about blogtober and i thought that was cute and i know um at least in the disney community uh a lot of content creators do uh Vlogmas in December. Is that what they call Vlogmas? Vlogmas. Where they, where they post something every day. And, you know, there are a lot of content creators who post something every day normally. And I don't know how they do it. <laughs> I really don't. Especially the ones who have kids. How do you all do it? I don't understand. I can barely take care of myself. And I don't do any editing or anything. I, I don't understand how you all do this and get your stuff up. Anyway. <laughs> I'm so, I, need, I need to like change the name of this channel to Ramblin' Willie or something. Because I end up rambling. Uh, I am planning to change the title of the channel just because the focus has shifted since I first started it. And I'm thinking over a couple of possibilities and I may ask all three of my subscribers for feedback at some point. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I will finish this section. I didn't, I didn't finish this first section on camera last week, but you can see that I did go back and finish it. I still have no idea what this is. Based on the black and white canvas, I have no insight. Um, it's interesting though, we do sort of have fall colors. We have browns and beiges and oranges so far. So this fall tag may end up being appropriate. Who knows? Anyway, thank you so much. If you stuck with me to the end, bless your heart. <laughs> and I mean that not in the Southern way of bless your heart. I, I mean, really, thank you so much. I really appreciate you sticking with me. If you have a diamond painting channel, please leave a comment or, or shoot me an email. Either way, I usually list my email in the description box. And tell me about your channel because I would love to check you out and subscribe to your channel. And I hope you will do the YouTube things by liking, subscribing, commenting, you can answer any of the tag questions. You can tell me if you've worked on a mystery painting before. Just, just say, Willie, you know, rein it in a little bit and stop rambling so much. Whatever you feel compelled to say. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And remember to do something every day that makes you happy. Thanks so much for joining me, friends. I'll see you in the next video.